What okay. happened, Mr. Budram was able to come out of the pipe. Mm -hmm. He came out, and when he came out, the, the system stabilized. Well, you are, you are trying to tell me that the entire pipeline stabilized based on this report. Is that correct? No, I, I am not an expert. Uh, I know. I, no, I said based on the report. Yes, based on the report. I, I would say no. You would say no? Yeah, in my opinion. In your opinion? I, yeah. Um, what are your qualifications, Mr. Dunno? Uh, I, I am not an engineer. You're not right. an engineer. But the only way for you to know that there's no delta P, right, is for you to gauge the pipeline and to know that it's now equalized on either side. During, and I, I'm going beyond the report, right, there's some form of air in the pipeline. Correct? At some juncture during the 25th to when the individuals were taken out the pipeline. Right? We know this for a fact. Oh. Now, paragraphs four and five, based on the question you're asking me, right? For Mr. Boudram, right? He may not have been subject to Delta P in that area of the pipeline. But there's nothing to say that there was not delta P in any other area of the pipeline. Because if there's air, right, there is the potential for delta P. Well, Mr. I don't know how much you know of how this incident happened. The delta P occurred in the hyperbaric chamber, which caused them to be sucked into the pipeline. And then according to this opinion, the fact that they were sucked into the pipeline during a delta P, right? And he was able to come out. And this opinion is saying that the fact that he was able to negotiate the pipe and come out, there was a static situation. It had stabilized. And you are saying you do not agree with that. I don't agree with that. 